say in, in their past I was less sensible and used to make uh, predictions about oil and gas prices and every time I got it right and which is a contrarian view I used to be very happy and more and more confident now I recognize that there's a good reason why even experts in the oil industry do not make a prediction beyond a week because it's the most traded community therefore hardly 90 hardly 5% of the actual oil is is physically handed over rest of it is uh, let's say in a broad term speculation and speculation has many wives so any wife can get upset and the price can go down or go up so to predict oil prices is very tough there is a view in the American uh, agencies that the price of oil on an average may be about $92 in this year which is about nearly let's say average last year was 110 the year before that was 100 in 2022 was 110 so it is a decrease whether it be 92 or 85 one can't say a lot depends on the Ukraine war and a lot depends on US diplomacy with Saudi Arabia as long as Saudi Arabia says we are neutral OPEC will say we are neutral which means they will not uh, increase their production to bring the price down so the chance of it going to 40 50 dollars a remote Ch- chance of staying at 100 dollars and above remote yes it can be 80 90 or 92 as predicted by wiser people than I as far as other commodities are concerned like gold gold will always uh, uh, traditionally uh, been contra to the dollar the dollar becomes high usually there's a feeling of stability then there's no need for you to hedge in, in, in gold but when things are uncertain gold starts going up so there's a general feeling that to 2023 uh, commodity prices will firm up in the last two years preceding the current year who invested in commodities made a lot of money very very high returns and the expectation is that in 2023 also those who invest in commodities and forward options whatever it is will make money so prices might remain high